Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the pop-up camper. In today's video, I'm going to be installing a temperature gauge uh, like this. I just had this one hanging around. Uh, I don't. You can probably order them on Amazon. So as you can see, it has a little, um, it has a digital reading here, and you have a button here for interior and exterior, and it's hooked up to this wire here and there's a little sensor uh, that comes from the the uh, gauge here and uh, you put this outside and then you have the inside and the outside temperature so I decided to mount it right here above the uh, thermostat because this is the thermostat for the heater and uh, you get a better idea what the temperature is uh, inside the uh, pop-up and the other reason why I'm putting it here if we come around I'm gonna run the wire that's the thermostat wire right there but I'm gonna run the wire out through this hole here this is the hose that goes down into your uh, reservoir tank underneath there's already a hole there so I'm just gonna run the wire out there for the exterior temperature All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, unscrew this uh, wire harness here and just get it out of the way because I'll be drilling around this area. I don't wanna hit anything just to be safe. So I'm uh, gonna try to get in there. There we go. Now let's see if we can get that out of there. Right. put that screw in a safe spot I'm gonna bring this wire down out of the way and uh, here is the thermostat the casing for the thermostat I'm gonna be drilling right up here so there's nothing in the way so I only have one size of drill bit with me here drill through wood uh, as long as I can get this little sensor through the hole to feed it out there if not I can just make it bigger with this uh, here so I uh, pretty well want it uh, maybe like right there, kind of center, it doesn't have to be exact. Alright guys, I uh, made a little mark there, you can see it. Just make sure you're not too high and uh, you're not going to drill through uh, uh, this part over here. Make sure you're low enough. And uh, here we go. I don't think that drill bit's big enough. Let's see. No, it's just missing a little bit. We'll try to make it bigger here. All right, guys, so I got the hole uh, big enough now and I got the sensor. I didn't notice the bracket in here, but I'm really lucky, as you can see. I was just underneath that little uh, support there for the for the uh, countertop. So, like I said, make sure that you're uh, you're far enough uh, below that uh, that uh, piece of wood you see right there. All right, so the wires fit through, and uh, now I just gotta figure out where to put the uh, screw for the to hold this uh, unit on the wall here. So. I want to center it with the uh, the thermostat here, so I think that's pretty good. That looks pretty good. So if we look, you can just put the uh, screw probably just right beside the hole where the wire is going through. Yeah, it should be good. So let's get that screw in. So we'll drill a little pilot hole here. I think right. Uh, here will be good right beside it. 
hopefully. I was good to drill a pilot hole first. Uh, make sure the screw you're using will fit in the back of you, the unit you're using. Trying to get this done with one hand here. We're gonna. I need a battery in my drill. There you go, a little, little space behind. Maybe a little bit more than that, so we can hang the thing up. Okay, let's see how that works. Let's see here, get it lined up with the screw. There we go, push down, make sure it's nice and secure. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And as you can see, it's only 12.6 degrees Celsius in the camper right now. And it's pretty centered over the thermostat. I like it. So the next thing we do is just run the wire right through the hole and then we can have a, an a exterior temperature reading as well. Okay, so we got the wire running out the uh, hole there. And the last step is going to be just screw this uh, wiring harness back up where I took it off from up there. There we go. That's all done. So I had some bounce sheets in there as well. I'm gonna stock up that hole. In case any critters try to get in. There we go. Alright guys, we've got this thing installed. Uh, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I'm sure you can get more fancy ones on Amazon. Uh, but I just had this one hanging around, so I just decided to put it up on a something to do on a rainy day. So now with the outside temperature in Celsius, you can change it to Fahrenheit in the back uh, if you want. Uh, and then you got the interior temperature. So yeah. Pretty straightforward. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video there. If you're new, please subscribe. Please hit that old thumbs up button. I appreciate the support. Hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Leave comments below. Until next time.